Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to take the time to update you on a couple of things. And so there are going to be several different subjects talked about here. So I would stay tuned. We'll try not to go beyond 15 minutes uh, because it's just an update. So we're not going to do explanatory. Explanatory? Explanatory. There will be no explanatories here today. Okay. Now, but you will get an education. Okay. Um, the dogs, there are seven, she lost four, total of 11, see, seven and four is 11, you know, seven, 11, anyway, uh, they are doing okay, they are all asleep right now, they're not whining in their sleep like they normally do, and I keep them separated from the mother probably for another seven days. So in about a week, they will be with their mother and they'll be able to be around her. They'll be big enough for her not to be able to lay on top of them and they'll not be able to stand up. Um, she's just too heavy compared to them. And so I had to learn that. So I had to separate them. It's not the most ideal situation, keeping her separated at night, keeping her outside. But um, yeah, it has to be done. Because they've survived when I've done that. When I haven't done that, they haven't survived. Because she just lays where she wants to lay. I think she's thin in the herd, as they say. But they're doing okay. They are, you can already see the different attitudes of each. And so I can see the different personalities. I can see who the fighters are. I can see who the uh, greedy ones are. The ones who are going to just step over everybody and everything to get what they want. So that's actually unique. Uh, what is it? I, you know what? I think it's three and four. Three girls, four boys. But I'll have to go and take a look. Uh, same number my mother had. So uh, the next thing I need you guys to pay attention to, you'll find that it's interesting. I don't like Microsoft Edge. I don't use Microsoft Edge. I think Microsoft Edge is one of the most intrusive programs out there. Uh, I delete it every chance I get, but they keep throwing it back up here. Sorry, there is a asking me to create a uh, backup, and I don't want to create a backup. So let's get rid of all this junk this early in the morning. I ain't got time for it, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if you all have been paying attention. Europe, the temperatures are extremely high. America, the temperatures are extremely high. I mean, literally, it's not that it's hot, but that the heat index is so high. Now, why is that? Just ask yourself the question, why is it that we're breaking records right about now? They say it's because they're changing the climate. Because that's what climate change means. Pay attention to the phrase that they coined. We didn't coin that phrase, they did it. It's called climate change. Yes, they have been telling you that they've been changing the climate for years. Ladies and gentlemen, did not the scientists say that they were placing in the environment nano aluminum into the air? Now you've heard me say, how can they place nano aluminum into the air claiming that it was gonna reflect the sun's rays and the heat when what goes up? What goes up must come, must come down. So it doesn't stay in the air. So they didn't do that to reflect the sun's rays. Well, they're seeding the clouds. Ladies and gentlemen, if they're seeding the clouds, then who's breathing that junk in when it hits the ground? What goes up must come. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What about all these chemicals they're putting in our environment? And uh, jet fuel, diesel fuel, gasoline. There is a whole lot of chemicals on this planet. What about all of that? Amazing, huh? Oh, by the way, have you noticed that there are no hurricanes during this season of hot, hot, hot? See, they just dispelled the whole theory of El Nino, El Nina. They just killed that theory. That this only happens during an El Nino season because this is El Nino season. Go ahead and look at all the monsoons and the thunderstorms uh, in Mexico right now. 
Mexico's getting a whole lot of rain. This is El Nino. So during El Nino, we got all this heat. Huh. So they just killed the whole El Nino, El Nino. So-called theme. Oops. Can anybody say harp? Sorry, Penny's looking at me. Uh, because she's hearing my voice, but she knows she's not coming in. Well, she keeps digging underneath the fencing area that I have for them. And she doesn't go anywhere. She just hangs out. But she knows she's not coming in here. Don't even think about it. You see, I don't have to say anything else to her because she walks away with her head down when I tell her that. Because she doesn't think about it. Because I told her not to. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did a video talking about the new universal hour style money order. In that video, I showed you how, by law, bills of exchange, bankers acceptances, trade acceptances, contracts with the United States government, and notes to include promissory notes, Federal Reserve notes, and any other type of notes are government obligations that the Treasury and the Federal Reserve are responsible for those. It says they become obligations of the Federal Reserve, obligations of the United States Treasury. They are government obligations. I did a video explaining that. I said to all of you, I have people asking me questions, what can I do? They're trying to foreclose on me. Starting next month, SACOM will be helping people who are going through foreclosure. We are bringing forth a lawsuit we're going to allow 10 people to join that lawsuit as the main sewers. Sewers? Man, I had a sewer problem, and they came in and they did a rotor, and when they rotor, and they, they, they just told me that I just had to sit there and root for it. And so we, we did, they did a rotor, and I did a rooting, and we just sat up there and took care of our sewer. Oh, you're not talking about that sewer. Oh, oh okay. All right, I'll shut up. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there'll be the 10 individuals who will be part of the whistleblowing class who will receive 50% of the total settlement, not, that's, now hold on, that's in addition to the 35% whistleblowing fee that is paid for being a whistleblower. Can't tell you all the angles we're gonna be doing whistleblowing. Oh, by the way, just in case somebody thinks they're gonna beat me to the punch, that's why I'm saying it on video. I love first in time, first in right. Okay? Um, but when we do that, we will allow other people to join into the suit. But the top 10, those individuals, and here's the thing. There are some people who, sorry, I don't want to talk about those uh, intelligent individuals. There are some people out there who understand my worth who understand what I'm capable of and who understand the level of experience I have not just based on what I say but they can tell that I know what I'm talking about because I show it to you I can tell you about times and seasons when certain things took place see how many of you can say when they were a kid they remember when Ronald Reagan made this comment and they were talking to people about that comment, or they remember when Kofi Annan made a comment, and they were talking about that comment, or they can say that Maxine Waters, a congressional, and, and you can say whatever you want to about Maxine. I will tell you this about that woman. That's right, I said that woman. That woman is not stupid. I showed you, I did several videos when she had Mnuchin from the Treasury. <laughs> Uh, God at one of her hearings and she was the chairman and how she was engaging him in contracts and she was going through the whole spiel and I told you all you had to do was pay attention a lot of people missed it because they don't know about negotiations and contracts ladies and gentlemen anytime somebody gives you an offer oh could you please have a seat that's an offer ladies and gentlemen Oh, I accept your offer. 
as long as you understand I'm not here to contract with you. But if you want a contract, then it'll be under my terms. Just as simple. That's all you have to say. You don't have to say anything else. Police officer pulls you over. Hey, how you doing, officer? Hey, you know, um, is there an emergency? Oh, well, no, no, no. No, no, no. I, I simply asked you, is there an emergency? If there's an emergency, I need for you to tell me. No, there's no emergency. Okay, well, then are you conducting an investigation? Well, yes, I am. No, well, then I don't wish to participate in your investigation. License or registration, please. Excuse me? You are asking me for my property? For what reason are you asking for my property? Well, I'm sorry. I can't give you my property without a warrant. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm trying to tell you what the law is. I, I don't care what your policies and your practices are. The law says that I cannot be deprived of my property without probable cause. Oh, you, you found probable cause? Excuse me? Where in the law do, do you get to find probable cause? Now, this is if they really are being anuses. Other than that, you just simply tell them I'm not willing to participate in your, um, your investigation. And then they ask you, do you have a license? Do you have an ID? Say, yes, here it is right here. May I see it? Yes, can't you see it from where you're standing? No, I need you to hand it to me. No, I'm sorry. I cannot give you my property. Now, if you have a warrant that specifically tells you you can seize this property, then by all means, but this is my property. And I'm not willing to give up my property, but once you go down that road, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot give up your fingerprints or your photo. Okay? Now, we created a right to travel document. They want your ID, you hand them all of that. Already signed in, literally you sign it in front of them and then you hand them everything. And if I was you, I'd be recording it. So you can record the engagement in the contract. Yes, that police officer is capable, he's a government representative of entering into an agreement with you. He and the government agency that he represents. Why? Because he's engaging you and He's the one who's offering you a contract. Everything he says is an offer. They say, license and registration, please. Excuse me? License and registration, please. Please. Do you, you understand that word right there? Please. That's a request. It's not an order. Now, when they start ordering you, I want you to understand this because I'm not... Look, I am not anti-police. You'll hear me be the first to say that police are absolutely necessary. Without police, there's anarchy. We cannot have that. They do provide a public service. They help every one of us. Don't none of you get it twisted. When you're in trouble, the first thing you do is you dial 911 because you want those services that you paid for, that you pay taxes for. You're in a contract for those services, so you depend on those services. So don't be afraid or ashamed to recognize that. However, what you have never done is given the servant authority over you. This is a representative so-called government. I don't say it because I appreciate it. I say it because that's the way it is. You've been taught that your whole entire life, ladies and gentlemen, that this is a representative government. Ladies and gentlemen, since it's a representative government, who do they represent? The people. So when did they get authority over the people? Never. They never had authority over the people. So why do they exercise authority over the people? Because of offer and contract. Look, you can just go to New Hampshire House Bill 1778. Many of you already know about it. You'll see right there in the purpose section, as they were proposing that bill, they spoke of the government offer to contract. It's a contracting, ladies and gentlemen. It's all contract. Once you understand that, that's that. Now, I got less than 15 seconds. I want to let you know that they are messing with the audio once I put the video up. The audio is just fine on my end when I replay it, but when I put it up, man, the audio is horrible. I apologize for that.